What is up guys, how you been? How you been holding up in this quarantine? I hope that you're all good and you're all safe, which is most important. And you're keeping yourself busy trying to do things at home that keeps you entertained and happy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what's in my camera bag 2020 for music and clubs. But before that, up here you're going to see a link to my first video where I explain a little bit was was what do I do with my camera um, the jobs that I get and stuff like that but if you haven't seen it just gonna uh, quickly tell you give you a little little resume of what I do so I'm a music and nightlife photographer based in Bristol in the UK I work for an agency in London regarding music and sometimes for a magazine uh, that is based in Bristol as well uh, the, when I every time there is a gig um, I apply for it, see if I can go uh, and the agency in London tries to find my accreditation to cover the gig for them. Uh, the, it's a little bit different with the magazine because the magazine tells me which gigs they need to be covered so I just tell them whether I can do it or not regarding if I have other jobs or not. Regarding clubs, I have weekly on a weekly basis I have a certain amount of clubs that I need to cover or nights as well. Uh, in a club, so I work directly with the with the club manager, with the club manager or owner or whatever, or with the club. Let's call it a club. So I work directly with the club. Um, I have, I think that I have like four or five nights I had up until everything happened uh, that I was covering on a weekly basis. So I go there, I take picture of the attendees, edit them, send them to them, so they can post it and people that went on the club that night can share it with their friends and things like that. But today we're not talking about what I do, today we're talking about camera gear. So we're gonna start. But the first piece of gear that I'm gonna show you is my camera bag. The camera bag that I use is this one. This is the Lowy Pro Fast Pack 200. This bag is small enough to carry everything that I need for the night, um, even one extra lens. And it's like it's super comfortable, it's super safe, it has a water bottle here that I can use and in here in the main compartment I'm going to show you there is enough space to carry my camera with a lens and all that bits and pops like lights if I'm doing video, flashes, uh, flashy silicones and bits and pops in there so that is going to be the that's gonna be the, the bottom compartment. Now, moving on to the top compartment. It's big enough to keep my my strap, which is a peak design strap. This is like, this is super, this is super tough. I absolutely love this because it's super safe, um, super comfortable as well. Your camera is not like hanging on your shoulder and stuff. So I highly recommend. This is my camera strap for choice, peak design. Next. I got my flash. This is a. I you mainly use flash for for uh, for clubs, but this is a, what's it called? Jung Jung Don Digital something like that, whatever it's called. Uh, this flash is amazing. It's manual. I use it in manual all the time, and I have a little uh, CTO filter in there just to compensate for the sort of bright and white light that shoots this flash. Next. Next is gonna be this. This is super fine. It says it says first aid, but this this is what I keep my 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 balloon blower and just my batteries. Batteries for the flash, really. The I found this at home. It was originally from a first aid kit, uh, but it fits perfectly on my camera and it's super comfortable so since then I decided to put my batteries in here and it's funny because it says first aid and I put batteries, you know. Kind of funny, I guess. Moving on, next we're gonna be talking about lenses. The first lens I'm gonna show you is this lens. My favorite lens, this is a Canon 16-35 f2.8 L2 version of this lens. This is the latest lens that I got. This lens is super sharp. I'm so happy that I got it because I don't regret any second of this and any, uh, and I don't regret the money that I paid for it. This lens is super sharp at 16 and it's super wide and it's super sharp at 35 as well. And the most interesting part of this, I love everything that has to do with internal zooming. Oh, 
I love internal zooming, so it's nice and compact. This lens is my favorite. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples as well that I got with this lens. It's gonna be up here. The first photo that you can see now is a photo from Make Friends. This is the last concert that I covered before everything happened. Um, towards the begin, towards sorry, towards the end of the gig, I went into the stage because I was working directly with Van, so I was able to move around. I was able to cover the whole gig. So towards the end, the last song and stuff, I jump into the stage and I took this photo. This photo is just. It resumes the, the energy that this guy has on stage. Um, you can see clearly all four members, some of the crowd. That shot couldn't be possible with, a, with another lens unless I was using the 16 to 35. Second photo you're gonna be seeing, this second photo is Louis Capaldi. Louis Capaldi was doing an arena tour here in the UK. He hit Cardiff as well a couple of weeks uh, ago, well, a couple of months ago now. And the opening of the gig was they were throwing all this uh, paper and stuff like that and confetti. So they, they, they wouldn't allow photographers to be there while the confetti was, um, was shooting. So they said, hold back, wait for the confetti to start and after that you can go. So confetti started, we jump into the pit and Luis Capaldi was already behind all the confetti. So I got my lens did a couple of shots and I got these shots of Luis Capaldi where he's like super sharp you have a nice difference of the foreground and the background as you can see I mean this lens is amazing and that photo is amazing it's one of my favorites as well it's in my portfolio as one of my top photos and that was it for the 16 to 35 as you can tell I have a little sticker here at the back of the at the back of the lens cover so every time I put it on my big camera pack which is another one that I got for when I had to carry loads of gear I and when I put the lens in the camera back I can quickly tell which lens is and just pick up if I need it to next lens next lens is gonna be this this is the Sigma uh, Sigma 70-200 f 2.8 with optical stabilizer I got this lens last year I think in October uh, just after the WRC 2019 in Wales. So every year, me and a friend, we go to the rally championship uh, when they come here in the UK and they, they race in Wales. So I got this lens, this lens as well. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this lens. It's super sharp. The, the bokeh that it gets you is amazing. And most important because it's a Sigma lens, and the most important thing to consider is uh, how fast the lens is to, to focus. And it is absolutely very focused. I couldn't tell any difference by using a Sigma or a Canon lens. And this lens as well helped me a lot when I did a gig at the SSE Wembley Arena last year. So a big Raritan artist came. Uh, I was told to cover the, the gig by the, by the agency in London and I knew because it was a big arena show that I'm gonna need a, a telephoto lens. So I got this lens. Uh, this lens, like I said, is amazing. I'm so happy with it. And what happened with big arenas like the SSE is that the pit is just, the pit is so crowded most of the time. So after you got your first three songs that I mostly shoot with the 24 to 70, they send you to the, to a sort of a second pit, which is behind the VIP area where you can shoot the whole rest of the concert and this is it we shoot it with uh, I shoot it with this the rest of the concert as you can see you're gonna see a photo here which is a reggaeton artist called Valentino so and I got that photo with this 24 to 70 the another, the next photo that you're gonna be seeing up here is the Craig and Conan concert here the Ocho Arena that concert as well was covered for the agency in London I was told to I was asked if I can cover it for them, and I said yes. And that pit was so crowded with security and other photographers because Crept and Conan were doing a UK tour again after a couple of years, I think, without touring. And yeah, uh, it was so crowded. So what I decided to do was I I stay on the side of the on one side of the pit, and I started shooting with the 24 with the 70 to 200, sorry, just to get some of that. Um, cropped in there and details of their faces and stuff like that as you can see in this photo moving on to my last lens is gonna be the 
Canon 24-70 f2.8 L1 lens. To be honest, this is the first lens I got. I was super happy when I got this lens. It's quite heavy, so it adds a lot of weight to your camera. But when I got it, I was, I was super happy because this lens up until 50, I would say 60, is super sharp. And after that, when it goes to 70, I find it to be, to be a little bit too soft for um, for like just general shooting. So I don't really use it that often. I either, I either use the 16 to 35, and if I need to crop in, I use that 70 to 200. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful that I got this, that I was able to get this lens, but I find it a little bit too soft. Some people will disagree, some people use this lens, they say that this lens is a beast and they use it all the time, but me personally, I don't know. If you, what I would suggest to you, if you can get the L2 version of this lens, which is a little bit, um, a little bit less heavy, I would highly recommend you get that lens because that one is super sharp. This lens, not so much, but I'm still happy that I got it because it saved me a lot of times like in these two photos that I'm going to be showing you on the screen right now. The first photo is going to be from the last gig that I did for the music magazine that is Bristol Bass. It's called Nightlife. So this photo you see now here, it was chosen by them to be in the cover of the magazine for March issue. Um, I wasn't expecting it when they told me that my photo was chosen to be in the cover of the magazine. I was like blown away. I was super happy. And yeah, I'm just, I'm still so grateful that they chose my photo to be on March issue, really. Um, yeah, yeah, these photos you can see. It's a Philadelphia singer uh, called Moon Mother, so I could suggest you highly go and check her out because her performance on stage is mind blowing. It's absolutely amazing. And that, how, that is how I was able to capture that photo. Second photo that I got with this lens, this van is called Fur. They were doing a UK tour. I was asked by the by the agency in London to go to go and cover them, and I got this photo, which is in black and white of this singer just giving it all. Um, Fur is a band that has like this really retro vibe, and their songs are like quite retro. It reminds me a lot of the Beatles. Um, yeah, that's why I found them really, really, really interesting. I was really happy and pleased with the with the photo that I got. Next up on my gear for, for concerts and gigs, this is the Go Star Filters. These are Star Filters, I use them most of the times. Uh, what it does, it gives you, once that you put in your lens, it gives you, um, every time you put your camera a lights, the lights give you like a star instead of just being a one brown thing. It's pretty interesting, you can get some really amazing results with this, as you can see up here on the screen. The photo that you're seeing is from a gig that I covered at the Ocho Arena in Bristol, which is Scouting for Girls. As you can see, the lighting gives you, gives you a pretty nice effect, but a lot of people are using it uh, these days, so it's not, it's not that makes you, uh, it's not that really something very original as many people discover these filters but I still use it for my club photography because it gives me like a nice effect when I do like crowd photos like this one that's what's taking it in at gravity here is like a really famous club in Bristol and I just went up the stairs snapped this photo with all the outdoor lights I think that it looks pretty good I don't know you guys can judge me on my photos though, whether you like them or not and the last piece of gear that I got that I use is the main thing which is my camera so I got this camera I use the Canon 5D Mark IV with a battery grip now you're gonna tell me why are you using a battery grip battery grip is so is so helpful it gives you that extra that extra hold on your camera that um, so to balance it out and stuff like that especially when you're taking like vertical photos and you're in the pit crowded you don't have to be like doing some weird poses trying to get trying to get your camera vertically you just keep just turn your camera and you still have a good grip on it and you can shoot vertically with your arms uh, with your arms close to your body so you're not like banging other photographers and stuff like that so i'm really happy that i got the the battery grip as well but it makes me feel like i'm uh, like i'm using a 1dx mark 2 or 3 um so it's like the close i'm gonna get to that camera i think i guess i don't know we'll see but anyway the uh, I was looking at the latest rumors of the Canon R5 and it looks like an absolutely amazing camera. 
when I was about to buy this camera, the 5D Mark IV, I was, I was kind of undecided between this one and the EOS R. EOS R, to be honest, in my opinion, is like a mirrorless version of the 6D Mark II, so that's why I didn't get it, and I went for the 5D Mark IV. But now that the R5 is releasing, it's kind of similar to the 5D 4X specs, just mirrorless. We could say that it's a 5D Mark V in mirrorless format, really. Anyway, that's gonna come in another video. That's gonna be all for today, guys. I hope that you like it, I hope that you enjoy uh, watching this video i hope that it helped you and it gives you some reference what you can do with each lens and the use that you can give it when you are in a in a concert or in a club i hope that you like this video like i said give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so you don't miss any new content that i post up and that's gonna be all if you have any comments or questions you can leave them now you can let me know in the comment box below and i'm gonna see you in the next video Bye!